Hey y'all, and welcome to episode five of The Best Wingman Around. I'm your host, Julia Golub, and as we say here on the vlog, it's just another day, it's just another wing vlog. We do have something very special on today's episode that I really cannot wait to get to. But first, I just want to recap the impetus behind this endeavor after many years of NFL fansmanship, boycotting this season, to bring awareness to the fact that, in my opinion, I think it's pretty clear um, the league hasn't really put forth enough of a solid effort in terms of social justice and and everything that's going on in society today, um, especially as it pertains to how large their platform is and their footprint is in American culture. So constantly just reiterating that, but all of my prayers and best wishes are obviously with anybody in the NFL who's tested positive COVID. And my hope is simply that the league starts taking both precautions seriously, as well as just the overall um, platform that they hold as it pertains to matters of social justice. So without further ado, I do want to get right into it. Um, I have one of my best friends on the show. We are going to proposition check-in. Who doesn't love a good proposition? And uh, we're also talking about a wing flavor that I've never tried before. Has to do with one of my favorite condiments of all time. So why don't we just jump right in? Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Julia. Thank you so much for joining us on the vlog. So happy welcome to, be to the here. best wing man around. Um, we're so excited to have you. So and. At, Obviously, Our so is Kite. Kite is excited. You um, You're all sorry. It's you know, <laughs> it's to be expected. I get it. I get it. So we're gonna do the wing tro. Three questions, one sentence each. Um, let's go. Question number one: What is your favorite part about wings? So I've always really liked dark meat at Thanksgiving and the part of the turkey that's just way more flavorful. Also, I like skin. Is that gross? No. So I like the combination of you're getting the hearty meat mm -hmm. in the wing, Yeah. you know, a, a dry chicken breast, a dry turkey breast, mm. not your Sounds horrific. Fave. You can definitely wing, miss me with you that. You kind of know you're not going to have that. Yeah. And you're going to get a little bit of skin. Yeah. And, you know, it's good that you say that because as little did you know, it does sound kind of scary. Okay. <laughs> so it's, um, yeah, I mean, it totally makes sense that you say that, that skin is a thing for you. Um, only because wings have the highest skin to meat ratio. So that totally makes sense. I was actually going to ask you if you knew the average skin to meat ratio later in the show. You know, I figured as much. <laughs> so I just decided to cut right to the chase and give the people what they want to know, which is skin. So um, <laughs> uh, question number two, what is, um, what makes you the resident wing expert of the day? Yeah, this is a good one because Wings are a more recent addition to my life. Okay. And COVID mm -hmm. related in a little bit, I was home in Michigan for mm -hmm. a while where I'm from um, out instead of Miami. Usually I'm not around f big family gatherings. Right, right. So um, wings, I'm, I could and should be the wing person because in the month that I was home, two different months spread out over five um, I ate a lot more wings than I did in my normal life because okay. I was with my family and wings are like the common um, starter of a lot of our meals that my brother-in-law mm -hmm. makes these famous wings on the grill. Oh, interesting. So okay. he does them on the grill and, um, and I just, I sampled a lot of wings this summer, 
we tried a lot of different spices and we had about, you know, 10 to 15 judges every time on, Ooh, Nate, make this one again. Don't make this one again. Really okay. like it. Well, actually I'm going to then have to include question three A yeah. or two A rather, which is what was one, what was one or some of these like favorite flavors that Nate had, you know, so I will say, as I said, it's a newer thing mm. for me. I can't handle spicy. That's fine. So if anything was really spicy. It wasn't your bag. And I don't love a lot of garlic. Okay. So my favorite ones were more of like a Cajun okay. that wasn't too spicy. Sure. With some barbecue. Okay. That could be but great. I what I'm excited to try today, and I won't segue into it too much, but one of my favorite condiments in general is yes. mustard. Yes, so anytime yes. wings can incorporate some mustard, I'm a big fan. You know, and that's very interesting that you, because for me, and I, again, you know, I, I feel like I've had my fair share of wings in my life. Uh, so people can attest to that. <laughs> um, but, you know, I've never before seen mustard as part of a flavor for wings. So I'm also excited really? to sample You've never seen it? what we're going to talk about. I'm super excited about it. But um, I don't want to, you know, hold people up too much until that portion of the program. So question number three. Are wings an app or are they a full meal go? I think they can be both. I definitely have them as both. I don't want to seem like one of those wishy-washy people. No, no. Um, honestly, I prefer them as the entree because I don't like to have to think about coordinating a mm -hmm. whole meal of wings are just a side that, you know, are like a afterthought. Right. I feel like if you're going to have a chicken wing, make it the make a salad and make a, you know, slaw Brussels sprout potato salad. I don't love potato salad, but like potato side something. Yeah. Yeah. So I think they can be both. I've had them as both, but I prefer them as the main. The main. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make it the center of your, uh, of your situation. And, uh, I love that answer because I do also think that they, I mean, in a, you know, in a setting where you're um, at a restaurant and they're on the app menu, but you're not there for that. Right. But you want a little bit of this, blah, 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 then, uh, then there are, they could be an app. But if I'm like, you know, at a sports bar, hello. Well, and lately, like I said, I had been eating them with family, but I feel like if I were to order them at a restaurant, I'm not going to order wings and then an entree. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. It's a lot of food. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, you also are the person who wrote our schedule to include <laughs> dinner and then followed by lunch and then followed by dinner. I know. Later. Cause sometimes so, you, gotta jump sometimes you just got to double down, don't eat anything <laughs> and then eat lunch, and and then, <laughs> yeah, lunch followed right by dinner. <laughs> and actually, yeah, um, get rid of our guest appearance. KJ, say bye, say KJ. hi. She's our first <laughs> animal that we've had on the show, but little does everybody know that actually Kite always sits on my lap. She's just not on camera. Mm. Anyway, so actually, um, before we get into uh, the wings, why don't we talk about how we're doing the show live, why you're here, what the hell is I going know. on, why am I not in solitary confinement in Oakland, what's happening? Give us a little bit of a rundown of a that. It's crazy. Give us um, a little bit of a Well, we won't what's bore up. the wing followers too much with our backstory, but I will say, Julian and I know each other from living in Miami. That's true. We are... Um, that's why I'm repping Miami vibes with my outfit. Totally. And I'm repping San Francisco vibes because you can only wear a fleece once a year in Miami. If that. Maybe, maybe. Like maybe December 27 and if there's a cold front. So, yeah. She back. And, <laughs> oh, nice. And so <laughs> she's like, I don't want to be she's out like, of camera. No, 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 no. This is my um, show. Yeah. So, uh. COVID life, crazy times. We've seen each other now three times in yeah. four months. That's unheard of in life in general because Miami to San Francisco, other than Miami to Seattle, furthest you could go in the entire <laughs> United States. Furthest. But, Two furthest um, points. And so, yeah, I feel like some of the stuff I'd like to get into is maybe like a little 
reminiscing on the blog sure. of like, sure. hey, there's only so many flavors of wings we can discuss, but like, what type of music did you dance to when you ate wings? <laughs> what you know what was your favorite club that you went to after that you know different stage in life like right you know, after eating wings. every time after yeah. eating wings and like what? what's the best cocktail accompaniment you've probably covered that but no no we um, haven't talked about that we will see, i missed the last episode so i, have, oh, I don't know that's rude I but know. i already knew that so all right kite i know that you tried again love you though Okay. So, you know, we're going to cover off on all those topics. Um, I think what we'll do first though, is get into the wings and then so. we'll talk about stuff because they're getting cold. I agree. We should try. So, and the only dish best served cold is not wings. <laughs> so, Good um, <laughs> it's exactly <laughs> not. Uh, so, we okay. are, we went to proposition chicken. Mm -hmm. This is in Oakland. And uh, they do rotisserie chicken, but we went ahead and got wings. But there is a wing section. That's right. Menu. It seems That's legit. right. That's right. And we, um, I have buffalo. Mm -hmm. And what do you have? Mustard. Honey, is, was it honey mustard? It was. Honey it was. mustard. My second favorite type of mustard. Second to? Like a spicy brown. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, um, we have, what we have here is, um, just the, the drums and the flats and the flats happen to have the tip still on there. Uh, an, they, an interesting rendition. Not normal. Not, I've, and I've never seen it been before. Having in San Francisco. Well, just in general, in my life, in my lifetime. Okay. Um, I feel like I've had them with the tips. I have had them where it's the whole wing. That's when they usually, that's when they have the tip. Yeah. But if it's drums and flats, then they're not mm. typically. Got it. Um, what do you think of this size? So, compared to your huge? Um, so size is a, is a thing for me. It's the a size. Big, yeah. It's a big thing for me. And I mean, I know that you guys don't know it like it. You can't tell like but like compared to a person's hand I think is a good way of oh yeah right it's like a thumb a little bit yeah it's, it's not thumb. it's not very big is what I'm saying but not much not very big not very big which is sometimes problematic but I mean I feel like if you're gonna eat it might as well do it go but, full on you know sometimes big is good in you know but if you're gonna eat it maybe you don't always want as big you're right. You want to be able to <laughs> put the whole thing in the mouth ish. Most of it. You do want to be able to do that. Lord on God's day, Jacqueline on God's day. Okay. So, okay. um, so am I taking a bite? You're taking a bite. Well, let's do this. somebody goes, well, actually, no, let's do it on three. Okay. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? Mm. What are your thoughts? The mustard is subtle. Interesting. Oh, I'm going to also try that. I'm assuming you're going to try you one have of these. To, yeah. But a little tangy and a little sweet okay. from, you know, honey, of obviously. Um, and it's, it's exactly what has aligned with what I like about the wing of, you know, it's the more flavorful meat. Okay. Good. So I'm liking that so far. Good. I'm going to take one more bite to make no. sure. To make we sure. We follow the Dave Courtney rule. No, we don't. We take two. Mm -hmm. I'll take two up in here. Her. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about you? What do you think? So. First impression. It's spicy. It is. It's a spicy, like, I think certainly not like, um, not doable. I mean, I feel like you'll be okay. You'll be able to handle it. Yeah. But I like, I'm somebody who loves spice, and but I would probably, you. well, that's not even, I'm actually, I'm looking at it from like a holistic standpoint. I nice. would caveat that. Okay. I don't remember, honestly, if the menu did say like, like, I don't, I don't remember it uh, referencing yeah. spice. Uh, yeah. Um, I would, 
for those who don't like spice would probably reference the fact that there is uh, um, a certain level of spice to this because it's certainly not um, like mainstream um, blandness. So okay. yeah, exactly. Well, so to your point, my palate. to your point about what the best thing to drink with wings is, um, I have just decided. I, mean, um, I didn't officially ask. You, I know you didn't, I was but. Uh, you know, it's like a Miami stereotype. So sometimes I feel like I need to roll along with it. I'm not a cocktail connoisseur, as you know, mm -hmm. far from it. Mm -hmm. Don't know how to make a drink other than open a bottle of red wine for the most part. That's why but, tip your tip your bartenders. But I do Leave appreciate it to me. recommendations on a good cocktail. So that was, what would you drink with your wing? Yeah. Well, so what I've been drinking this entire time that I've been doing the vlog is, um, sparkling either cava, prosecco or champagne. And why? Because, um, of the, regardless, I mean, um, if I'm going to be uh, doing spicy or I feel like for spice level, it cuts the spice level. I feel like for, mm. for wings in general, for fried food, it cuts the grease. So the effervescence mm. for me when it's that. a dry, well, I'm just, I'm, I'm absolutely going off of um, my personal palate when it comes to, um, to drinks, but I feel like, um, I've had a drink or two in my lifetime. I feel like this yeah. is something I'm experienced in and pairing. I mean, I think it's a nice, um, it's, it's a nice thing to exactly. And I mean, you know, I love a cocktail and I'll make any cocktail you want. It's just that I'm not really a big cocktails with dinner. Same. I ever. like a cocktail pre or post. Mm -hmm. I don't want a cocktail with my dinner. No, 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 no. Which that's why I guess if you were having wings as the appetizer, what cocktail would you go with? If I had to choose a cocktail. A martini. A classic, a classic cocktail, something that, um, I think that wouldn't, um, that wouldn't necessarily take away or divert attention from the wing. Yeah. But I would also go so much as to say, like, if you had a nice, uh, dirty martini at a place such as the Hillstones, which is a, which is, that's Miami what comes to mind. Well, it comes two. to mind. It, 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 there is in Miami, yeah. but it's also everywhere. That is a place that comes to mind for me for blue cheese stuffed olives in mm. their, mar, in their dirty martinis. Yeah, yeah. So that actually totally complements wings. Well, that would, be and that great. would be, no, that, that would be your sense. answer. Cause I, um, I mean, I hadn't had a martini, you know, bad experience with alcohol, whatever, won't get into that, but I hadn't had vodka in a really long time. Until you had a nightcap? Until I had a nightcap. Mm -hmm. Uh, yesterday of a dirty martini, I had taken maybe like Who a three-year hiatus. Who made that martini? Expert bartender here. Thank you. One thing that you give up control of with visiting Julia, if anyone on here ever does it. Or even just drinks. being in the same house with. True. Because when we visited Voss, yeah, 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 true. Anytime you're in someone's house visiting and Julia's present, let her do the cocktails. Let her even like pour the champagne because you might fuck it up, mess it up. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. No, we, we curse on this podcast. So <laughs> and on this vlog. Um, and so, <laughs> so, anyways, um, it was delicious. And I will recommend, can I give a recommendation? Of course. What I think would my compliment wings if people are going to try a martini now in addition to blue cheese um lemon stuffed olives that was i really enjoyed mm -hmm. we, we went to a span a store called the spanish table in oakland yeah which was a beautiful store they had all so of beautiful. these um they had this like different pottery um from spain and also from tunisia like that area of the world but then they also had spanish uh like preserved food and yeah. um wines and sangria yeah. and things of that nature so jacqueline grabbed these uh lemon stuffed olives and i had never had them so that was the neither. most popular olive in spain mm -hmm. i thought having had a martini in a really long time julia loves to make a martini and i would say i'd do it again i would do it again as well i would do it so, again as well anyways maybe with wings next time um, so you want to switch? Oh, sure. Let's do it.
Um, okay, I'm gonna try uh, the drum, and drum. I will too. Okay, so you're telling me I don't need to dip the sauce. Well, why don't I was actually just thinking that. So why don't we do first bite? No, no sauce, sauce, second bite sauce. sauce. Okay. All right, on three. One, two, three. Mmm. I don't think that's too spicy. No, I don't think it's too spicy, but whenever it's got people- a kick. It's got a kick. But when what? people tell me that they don't like spice, I'm usually, I've like had experiences where I'm like, this is barely anything. And the person's like, no, 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 this is the spiciest thing I've ever eaten in my life. I mean, I sometimes do feel that way. Let's dip it I'm gonna dip this one. Mmm. That's a good blue cheese. This is a Creamy. great, this is a great sauce. That's a great sauce too. And this, you know what I like about this? I, I, I have mixed feelings about blue cheese, but as a dipping sauce, I like it. I don't particularly like it on crackers. Yeah, no, me like either. too overpowering. And I'm like half and half on salads. I think you can, I think it's a, it takes a particular salad and it also, um, and it also like, you can very quickly overdo it. Yeah. So but I usually don't. Subtle hint, subtle yeah. hint. I like, usually don't go down that road either. But, but I was gonna say, but the reason why is because I feel like. Um, that's a mousse, that's why you like it. Because oh, it's a mousse. Because I was gonna say, because sometimes I don't mm -hmm. want like a chunk. Yeah, 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 exactly. I know, I know what you mean. And, like, and I noticed the fact that the that the menu said that it was mousse. a mousse. I saw that And too. I think that I that forgot was, about it until this, but this it's seems, like really classy. Yeah, I think it's a it's a perfect compliment to to that wing. But you don't think that that's too spicy? Because I'm just trying to formulate in my brain like when people say like I don't like spice, like I feel like it but can. Like, okay, so do you remember the spiciest wing you ever had? <laughs> <laughs> did you have it on a sidewalk writing your name and what's that? I did. I did. I did. You know what? Um. I actually, the wings that I had last week, the fire wings from fire wings okay. were pretty spicy in the sense that like the first, I'm going to look at you in the camera. So you're yeah. looking at the camera. Okay. Yeah. Spicy. So the spicy, um, the, the fire wings at fire wings. I mean, that sounds spicy. They were right. And, um, semantics, but <laughs> right. Right. And I mean, I, um, I had, I've had like the wild at Buffalo Wild Wings too in my life, but I feel like um, these I had, well, cause I also had mango habanero and those aren't usually. Again, when habanero's in it, I yeah, assume. Habanero. It's well, have a kick. So because I, I think it was because I was having the mango habanero in addition, it was definitely building the heat. But as I like I mentioned um, in the episode, I eating one wing would have been fine. Yeah. But um, but and I ate the rest of them. I I certainly certainly ate the rest of them. But I ate them off camera because it was definitely a like nose kind of running situation. Mm. However, I also. Um, I also only afterwards thought about the fact, like for the last one, that I did have um, ranch in the fridge. So that definitely would have helped. Right. Cut. Were the, you drinking um, champagne? I was. Okay. I was. I was also watching the Heat lose in the last game of the finals. So. Mm. What celebrity you'd most want to eat wings with? Slash a meal, but we'll add wings as an app. Um, right. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Hmm. I mean, the celebrity that I interesting choice. Most rather Did, you do. didn't cover this in episode three or four. We, I've, this has okay. never been covered. Um, Dwayne the Rock Johnson because his cheat days put like mm, eating level. to shame. <laughs> They're next level. I feel like he'd just be really interesting to eat any type of food with, and you know, and talk about it. And also because he obviously shares my love of tequila because he has his own tequila brand. So. Yeah, that's true. And he really likes desserts. I he does. Like. So like your, you know, pair of wings with a dessert might be better for that. Well, what's I'll... your favorite Dwayne Rock Johnson movie? 
that's really <laughs> that's really it's uh, not related to no no no, no 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 uh, it's okay that it's I not haven't related seen to that many of his but I love him as a person I do love him as a person um I think that the I have two I love him in pain and gain with Mark Wahlberg and then I just love him in the Fast and Furious franchise, but I really enjoyed Hobbs and Shaw, um, oh, which wow. was you, the- That's a lot of knowledge about him. I didn't realize that. <laughs> well, <laughs> he is my favorite celebrity. So he's, you know, but, um, but no, I, Hobbs and Shaw, because um, it was that the latest branch off um, him and Jason Statham uh, off of the Fast and Furious franchise. And it also really was very centered around family. Mm. And I loved it. And it took and like a lot of a good portion of the movie took place in Hawaii. Mm, so scenery. it was like very, very beautiful. But uh, also just the concepts of, you know, that they were covering. Yeah, no, it was great. he'd be fun and funny. Yeah. The only one I was really, I was thinking was Moana, which he hasn't even in. He's just like a voice. I mean, he, he is you known know what I watched Moana. recently that I love him in? No. Um, Jumanji. Really? Oh my gosh. Have you seen Jumanji? There is a Jumanji remake with Kevin Hart. And Jack Black. And I know. Jack Black. Oh, okay, okay. People, people know of this. Oh my gosh. I didn't, but I'm not a movie buff. Um, the humor in that movie is just like next level. Okay. The Rock, Kevin Hart, Jack Black combined with some random girl. I don't know who she is. She's good, but I didn't know her. Like four characters going through this game. Hilarious. But anyways, not wing related, but well, it's, it's okay well to talk about. I feel like worth two hours of your time well that's good to know because i actually i mean again i love dtrj um but i always i had been because i feel like there's more than one jumanji there is and i've i also love the original jumanji i like to quote the what's the quote oh, well like there's several but <laughs> for example there is a lesson you will learn sometimes you must go back a turn oh that's a good one Right, I think that's applicable to everyday <laughs> life, right? Huh? Okay, there's more, but um, actually, the best moment of Jumanji is like, well, I let I allude to this a lot. If you're talking about, um, you know, in my in my uh, earlier, not so far away days, but you know, when you like have a, a crazy day, like uh, you go to to brunch and you're drinking, yada yada yada, and then you wake up and you're like, what year is it? Mm. And you, it's an allusion like to I'm that. In Jumanji game well, right now. no, it's like, there's a meme or like a, it's a, I mean, Robin Williams, like such an amazing person, RIP. It's um, when he is let out of the game, he's like, what year is oh, it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a reference to that. So you wake up, you're literally like, where the actual right. fuck am I? So yeah, Jumanji. Nice. Jumanji. There's, Jumanji. there's other ones, but uh, I'll, I'll pepper them into conversation. You know who I would eat wings with? Yeah. Um, Matthew McConaughey. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Because Tell us why. Multiple reasons, but I lived in Texas before Miami. Specifically lived in Austin. Austin, where he lives and is from. And one, though, I just love him as a person. Mm -hmm. Like he, I think I told you this story, but he, um, I went to University of Texas. He is now a a professor mm -hmm. of a film class. Yep. But he stayed anonymous about mm -hmm. it. And so everybody signed up for like intro to film. It was an undergrad. I couldn't have even taken it because I was grad. But signed up. It said like instructor TBD. Mm -hmm. And then it was him. That's it was nuts. so cool. I know you but, didn't tell me that story. That's crazy. Yeah. That's awesome. And so, because otherwise everybody would want us to sign no, up I, for I, it. I, People yeah. are going to get um you know legacy first yeah, choice credit whatever it was like nope it's anonymous whoever's the first 30 people that want in or 50 people whatever want intro to film anyways but the other reason is and i maybe i'm too much of a sucker for this but like he's just such a and i don't know him personally but i feel like he's just like such a good person yeah. and i really um feel like he would be 
like brutally honest, but in like a humorous, amazing, everything way that I would like to share a meal with him, including yeah. wings to be like, so tell me about how you like fell in love with your wife and he'd like tell you some crazy story about it. And it would just seem so genuine. Well, I think, fun. I think that that, that is First of all, I agree with you on all counts about Matthew McConaughey with that because he probably would have been like my second choice (laughs) because I feel the same exact way about him. I just feel like he's one of those celebrities that um, is like does good, like is super genuine and is real and but also has done like amazing, amazing work. True. And is super impressive. And that's a great question. I appreciate that question. I mean- if you live in celebrity, you know, like I could have said Owen Wilson too, because I met him, but you know, it's a different, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a different story for another It is day. a story for another episode. <laughs> but you know, there's people in Miami that we meet that just stand out. And yeah. there's ones that I thought, dang, I wish I would have met that person. Yeah. Matthew McConaughey is one of them. Yeah. Lived in Austin for years, never met him. Tim Riggins up there also. Not even his real name. I mean, Taylor Kitsch, but I'm always, I was going to say, Tim Riggins. did bring up Taylor Kitsch, Tim, Rig- but <laughs> called him Tim Riggins on episode three with Jesse. Yeah. But, uh, but let's be honest, the real star of that show is Kyle Chandler. Always. Okay. Let's be real. All right. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being on the show. Thanks for having me. Again. I was really, I, I loved this. I'm glad. It was great. It was so nice to see you in person. Yes. It was magical. I mean, in life, over wings, everything. Over wings, always over wings. Also like the most beautiful weekend here ever. So really yeah, just kind of, weekend. you know, nice. And we had this, a good mood. we had a guest host on this whole time. <laughs> True. She's been guest, guest hosting this whole time. All right. Well, signing off. Just Bye, y'all. <laughs> on a podcast.